On Your Side Weather Deck is sponsored by Montel Construction, your home team. Welcome back to 13 on your side. I'm meteorologist Samantha Jacks outside on the weather deck this morning. It's a cooler and comfortable start to our day. No rainfall right now here in Grand Rapids, but we are tracking some rounds of rain in sight, some of which will be heavier than others. So starting off with our weather ball, it is currently blinking blue as we have cooler temperatures in view this afternoon and also some showers in sight. The 13 weather ball is sponsored by LaFontaine Lincoln Grand Rapids. So this isn't our necessarily severe weather outlook, but this is actually an excessive rainfall risk. The area is highlighted in yellow underneath a slight risk, which is elevated for our area in comparison to normal. And this kind of just goes to highlight where the heaviest of rain is expected as we travel into the afternoon hours, including a large portion of us here in West Michigan. The closer that you get towards US 10, the lower those rainfall totals are going to be. The further south that you get towards the between the 96 corridors and the 94 corridors, the more likely we are going to see some flooding from today's heavy rainfall. As of right now, we do have some showers, um, very, very weak storms, not necessarily producing any thunder as of right now, but a little bit of a heavier burst of rain in Oceana County. We will continue to see those showers work their way across the state this morning, bringing some light nuisance rainfall for the next two hours or so. Then we'll be dry from around 9 a.m. continuing on until around 1 o'clock today before this complex of showers and storms works its way towards the area. They're currently sitting in the eastern southern portions of South Dakota. They will continue Continue to race this way a couple isolated thunderstorms out ahead of them, but as they do so they're going to pick up a ton of moisture arriving to our region by around 2 to 3 PM. Hour by hour forecast here shows that those showers that are currently present right now on our satellite and radar really lose a lot of steam, a lot of umph. This is 8 AM, just a couple spotty light showers. Then as we head towards noon today, we're dry, maybe even a pocket of sunshine sneaking into the forecast. Here's that line of showers and storms though around 3 to 4 PM for our Lakeshore community communities racing in anytime we start to get these shades of yellow, orange, red, even shades of magenta there. We know this is going to be heavy downpours, significant rainfall that moves through. It exits the area between midnight to 2 a.m., leaving behind maybe a lingering shower or storm tomorrow morning, but drying out for the most part after that time frame. Models are being really aggressive in terms of rainfall totals. We're talking anywhere from an inch to two inches, maybe some bullseye heavier spots in that depending on how long a thunderstorm cell sets up for. This is probably a little bit aggressive in terms of Holland through Muskegon and into Grand Rapids, but it does go to show the nature of these showers and storms and how much rainfall we could potentially see on the high end of the scale. I don't want to underestimate it for today. Lakeshore communities today, though, temperature wise in the mid to upper 70s, where we are going to top out in the low 70s for our northern zone and in the mid to upper 70s for our southern zone. The rest of your 13 on your side 10 day forecast showing off that today will be the coolest day of the 10 day outlook. And then we travel and get a little bit warmer throughout the back half of the 10 day period.